Alright, here's the question of the day. What is leaking out of my truck? It's been doing this for the last couple months. It's not the oil, it's not the transmission fluid. I don't know what it is. Because neither one of them ever get low. That, I just dumped water out. But something's dripping up the road out of the front end. Don't know. Alright guys, time to wash the trucks. I've yet to wash this one since I've owned it. That one's been June, early June, since I washed it. And it is fairly dirty. Oftentimes forget it's even been painted. The hood in particular and the tailgate are the worst. All right, so we finished washing up the trucks. They look really nice. It's been quite a while since I washed, well, I've never washed this one. I haven't washed this one since like June. So it was well needed. All logos looking nice. All right, just finished up washing the trucks. So we're gonna do a little bit of Q and A here. Question of the day by Garrett for Q&A, do you use, why do you start the Skag Cheetah at full throttle? He goes to, wanted to say that he's OCD and that bothers him and blah, blah, blah. He, it, it's bad for it, so is engaging the, and disengaging the blades on full throttle. The reason I start the Skag on full throttle is because the Skag Cheetah, specifically, I don't know about other brands, you're meant to shut it off at full throttle. If you shut it off anything other than full throttle, it will backfire. And that kind of... Because it's shut off at full throttle, I've always just started it at full throttle. I don't really know if it makes much of a difference. If it does, well, I didn't know that. Um, I've never even thought about it engaging or disengaging the blades on full throttle. Um, I've, I have no idea if that makes a difference or not. But the reason I do it on the Skag starting it is because you're supposed to shut it off at full throttle. Otherwise, it'll backfire. So that's the reason I do that. John Houston writes, you and Tyler aren't breaking Amish, are you now? I'm not. I don't know about Tyler. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. The next Q&A question is, do I eventually plan on getting an enclosed trailer like LTD? The gentleman even said LTD. It means he watches the channel enough to know that that's what I call him. Anyway, eventually I would like to get an enclosed trailer for the simple fact it's a mobile shed. It's a mobile billboard and I don't have to constantly cover my equipment every time it starts to rain and I like the looks of enclosed trailers better I will eventually sell the trailer I have buy a skid loader trailer tilt trailer flip down ramp I don't really care which something that can actually hold 10 12,000 pounds on it buy one of them then that would be for anything that you need an open trailer for, skid loader, pallets, whatever, whatever and whatever. And then I would buy an enclosed trailer, most likely 8x16, for mowing and the mowers and everything else. I like, just when we were using Tyler's trailer, I like the fact that he has all his tools there, shovels, rakes, everything is there when you need it. You don't have to, oh, do I have that? Do I have this? I really like the enclosed trailer. I think they're much better than an open trailer because I have no use for an open trailer. The open trailer I have, I have no reason to have it because everything I can do with it, I can do with an enclosed. Because I don't use it for pallets. I don't use, I don't put anything on my trailer 
because I have the dump truck. I have this truck. I don't need to put anything on the trailer other than mowers. The only downside I see to an enclosed is weight. Weight and maneuverability. You can't get in and out quite as easy. They're a little bit harder to back up, but not much. All right, that's for today's Q&A. Next question, any more questions you got, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them in the next couple videos. I don't know what all I've, I haven't really filmed a whole lot today. Um, just trying to throw something together so there'll be a vlog for Sunday because I'm trying not to miss any days and I'm trying to keep the streak going because I already missed, let's see, Wednesday. I missed Wednesday because I deleted all the footage accidentally. So I'm gonna try to keep this streak going as best I possibly can. So thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and subscribe.